Hi everyone, myself Mukesh Bijja from Space Engineering Academy and Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad. In this video, I am going to give the complete details for those who are working professionals after completing diploma, wanted to pursue the engineering without disturbing their work, right? So, they can go for the evening classes in Hyderabad and other districts also. Let me explain every minute details of this idea of pursuing evening BTEC. Okay? Before going to dive into the video, hope you guys are doing well. I am requesting everyone to like and subscribe our YouTube channel Space Engineering Academy. Because you know, in our analogy, 60 to 65 percent viewers were unsubscribed viewers. We are very happy. We even without a subscription of our YouTube channel, we are able to reach you. We are happy for that. But I am requesting again to you to subscribe our YouTube channel or this platform because you are not going to miss any important update from this platform. We are always trying to give you the important or related information to you on the time basis. See, those are completed diploma and working in any field of uh, government or private or the limit any company at least for one year, the JNTUH was given a good news. They given a notification for later entry admissions into the second year BTEC program for working professionals for diploma holders. Let us see then what is the notification here. There are three things we can see here. Firstly is a notification for admission to BTEC program, you know for working professional 2024 and 25. And the second one is annexure, what is the eligibility uh, for uh, pursuing this uh, evening batch or evening college or whatever may be. And the other one is the information to the candidates and the counseling schedule. What are the counseling schedule? What is the CAC, uh, what is the date for the CAC students or electrical or ECE, mechanical? Let me tell you everything in and out of the these three notifications here. Please watch the video till the end, then only we can tell you the exact details here. Okay? Let me go through the first talk. let me tell you the notification here. The notification was given on 25th of October. Okay? The notification was given on 25th of October, we can see the date here. So, admission uh, into the BTEC for working professional 2024-25 for later entry admission to the second year. See, this is for the academic 2024-25. And those are the diploma holders having minimum of one year working experience can attend the counseling session. Okay? The eligibility criteria or list of courses or colleges or information was given in the website. He mentioned the website there. So, let me go through the information to the candidate then. What was the information given JNTH board to the candidates or interested candidates? You know, this is the admission, again I am re reiterating this, this is the admission to the BTEC for working professionals of a different streams of this diploma or different streams of a engineering to be for only later entry admissions into the second year. You are going to pursue the engineering for a 3 years like a regular lateral entry, right. So, but you have a flexibility to work in your professional life. Latin admission to the BTEC second year for working professionals for diploma holders for the academic year 24 and 25 affiliated college to JNTU or the JNTU were given here. There are 9 colleges to pursue your engineering in entire Telangana. Let me read the colleges for you. The first college is the JNTU Hyderabad with 3 courses computer science and engineering, mechanical engineering 30 intake and metallurgy engineering 30 30 intake. The fee is going to be annually tuition per Semester, the semester fee, not annually, semester fee will be 50,000. So, the other college in the Kottagodam, Kottagodam Abdul Kalam Institute of Technology, those are offering the in three branches, 30-30 uh, intake, electrical and electronics engineering, electrical communication engineering, mechanical engineering, 30-30 intake given and fee for the semester will be 32,500. The, the other college in Kammam, those are nearby Kammam, those are working in Kammam, they can utilize this college. Anubos Institute of Technology in a Palavancha. Uh, there are offering three branches of uh, for working professionals, electrical, triply, mechanical and mining, 30-30 intake, 47,500 per semester fee here. Okay? 
and coming back to Karim Nagar, those are completed diploma and working in and around Karim Nagar, they can pursue engineering, B.Tech, without disturbing your work in Jyotishmati Institute of Technology in Karim Nagar, those are offering in two branches, sir. Later entry B Tech here for those candidates. Uh, CSC, Tati Intake, CSC and sub branch that is artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning with Tati Intake, uh, 35,000 fee for every semester of fee will be there. And coming to again, there is one more college in Hyderabad that is uh, Mahatma Gandhi MGIT, which was located in Hyderabad itself, Gandhi Pet nearby. MGIT offering uh, 30 30 intake for the uh, three branches that is civil. Mechatronics and uh, sorry, mechatronics and uh, metallurgical and uh, material engineering. Uh, the fee for each semester will be eighty thousand. So the those are nearby Pedapalli. That is a nearby Karimnar only. Pedapalli and uh, and Karimnar are around in and around forty kilometers. I think so. So Mother Teresa College, Mother Teresa College of Engineering Technology. Those are offering for only one branch to the B Tech uh, for working professionals. That is a mechanical with thirty intake, twenty five thousand fee for the semester. Next in uh, Rangaradi, in Gatkesar Road, we have Siddhartha Institute of uh, Engineering and Technology. Those are offering for uh, working professionals, two branches, CSC RTP, AML and CSC Data Science with 30-30 intake, 34,000 fee for semester. And uh, we are nearby Gandhi Maisama, that is Maisama Gudulapalli in Hyderabad, one more college, St. Peter's Engineering College. It is very nearby Maladi College. Mm -hmm. St. Peter's offering. 30, 15, 15 uh, intake with respect to computer science engineering, triply electrical and electronics engineering, electronic communication engineering, 48,000 per semester fee. The last college and the prestigious college, one of the famous college, one of the top college in Telangana that is VNR Vignan Jyoti is also offering the B.Tech courses for the working professionals in uh, three streams that is well, first one is a uh, computer science and engineering with 30 intake. CSC with AML 30 intake, electronics and communication engineering with 30 intake, uh, fee will be 67,500. These are the colleges offering different courses to the working professionals in Hyderabad and in and around Hyderabad. These are the availability with respect to the students. So, what is the guidelines the student has to follow here? Students should have qualification same as candidate eligible for the latter entry admission. So, you know. Later entry admission requirement and here the requirements are both are so the requirement of the later entry admission requirements are same here and BTEC second year specified in the ESET working professional registered industry organization private public limited I mean located within the 75 kilometer radial distance from the institute that means your working location must be 75 kilometers with respect to your uh, required or you want willing to do the college. Let us say if you want to do the Siddhartha college, your working location must be in and around 75 kilometers. If you want to pursue Pedapali college, you have to work in and around uh, 75 kilometers from the Pedapali. Okay? Now, further one, minimum of one year full time regular experience is required. If it is more, it is okay, but minimum one year is experience is required. The program duration is 7 semesters. The fee was given for semester, you need to multiply 7 times. Let us say j and fee was I, I think 50,000, 7 means 7 into 50, it is going to be 3.5 lakh, right? So, 3 and a half years course will be there, 7 semester was given here, okay? Student have to attend class work physically in the evening hours. This is very, very, very important. Student has to, student must attend the classes in the evening hours physically. This is very, very important. Okay. Uh, next, uh, selection criteria, you know, then what is the selection criteria sir, and what basis they are going to select the student for this course? The first one will be based on percentage in your diploma, based on per your percentage, based on aggregate of your percentage in diploma and second one is a reservation policy, or you belongs to BC or AC or ST. Likewise, these two are the going to be crucial role in selecting a student for this uh, B.Tech courses for the latter entry. Tuition fee as mentioned in the NXR one, I already mentioned counselling fee will be there, 2000 need to pay for the counselling here. Okay. Schedule of counselling, see the branches wise schedule was given for the counselling. On 5th November 1030, the CSC branches, CSC and CSC sub branches that is AML and Arsense uh, must uh, attend counselling and 5th of November. 
look at 6th and 6th of November civil students, triple students and EC students uh, must attend the counselling at 6th of November at different timings are located there and uh, mechanical, mechanics, mining engineering and metallurgical engineering need to attend uh, 7th uh, with the different time slots uh, they need to attend the counselling session. If you are interested please hurry make sure you have everything in your hand then try to have these original certificates before going to attempt the counselling there ok. The certificates required for the counselling time of counselling the original certificates are required here. The first one diploma provisional certificate as you already passed out you can easily hold it this diploma memorandum mark that is the overall mark memo, memo CMM you can say next Aadhaar card original TC migration certificate if applicable uh, cash certificates if you are a BC you need to communicate uh, uh, that is a cash certificate of BC you know date of birth certificate is, that is nothing but SSC certificate only study certificates from 6th diploma that means you need to have a bona fides of the 6th diploma Cert, uh, service certificate from one year experience you need to take from the employer the one year experience certificate ok service certificate and you need to take a no objection certificate also from the employer because you are going to the college there you need to inform the employer there you need the employee you need to take the NOC you know NOC and service certificate of one year is a mandatory condition for this counseling session because if you have anything missed out the certificates also they can consider it but these two are the mandatory they are not going to consider anything if you have if you don't have, if you don't have these two things a set of photocopies for the certificates uh, all the certificate only you need to take a two or three sets of uh, all these uh, xerox copies two passport size of uh, photograph these are the information given to the candidates uh, for the ready uh, preparing for the counseling let us see the eligibility then let us see the annex eligibility what is the eligibility uh, see eligible diploma candidates the students you know the students pursued diploma in a civil engineering construction technology civil engineering they can go for the civil engineering paper let us say the student studied applied electronics instrumentation biomedical engineering electronic and communication engineering electronic instrumentation engineering special diploma course in electronic embedded system electronic and telecommunication special uh, communication like you has if, if you know the GIOE college is offering EV, come and see and like this right these all students can apply for the electronic and EC paper like electronic and communication engineering paper ok and the availability of the possibility let us say if a, if a student CSC student let us say EC student was there he studied see qualifying exam branch let us say diploma student he was completed electronic and communication engineering or diploma in a electronic and communication engineering EC student can go for ARB branch, ECE branch and ETE branch ok and CC uh, let us see this one is a TS ESET paper let us say someone is written CSC paper someone is written ESC CSC paper CSC code they can go for all these branches all these branches ok if you have studied diploma in a electrical and electronic engineering you have only electrical and electronic option ok if you have studied in electronic and instrumentation engineering you have two options here you can choose CC or ETM, ARB, ECI, EIE or ARB like there are different options here but whatever the options are going to be there was important uh, uh, almost you have 42 uh, course here there was important note point given here the first preference is always given for the core students only let us say you are a electrical student but applied for a CSC course that means the organization will give first preference to the candidate who have obtained diploma in computer science first if there is any vacant after considering all the computer student then only they choose for a non CSC students that is the criteria here ok the list of BTEC courses available for later entry for working professionals are these are the list of courses we have civil Yes, we have civil engineering, Dribbly, mechanical, MMT, these are codes and uh, with respect to the course uh, discipline also. ECE, ECI, EIE, ETM, e ECM, AI, AID, CSE courses, AM, CME, CSB, CSC, these are the course almost we have 36 uh, courses with codes here, but the admission will be given to the above listed BTEC courses subject to the courses offered by the university and the private college. Already given a complete details of 9 colleges offering different intakes with fees also, those are the availability.
ok. Yes, there may be the different codes here, but those are the availability may be they can extend in a future plans with respect to all the branches here ok. So, this is complete video about the counseling dates and we all uh, let me repeat the counseling dates here. Let me tell you the counseling dates here once again. The counseling dates are 5th, 6th, 7th with reference to branches, CSC, CSC allied branches need to attend 5th, civil, electrical and EC student attend 6th, mechanical, mechanotics and mining and metallurgical need to attend 7th. Remember these guys, if you are interested, go with the flow and uh, re remember the original certificates you need to remember here. If you want, you can make a screenshot this and try to have everything on time and uh, prepare well and go for it. Complete it definitely once if you complete BTech or engineering by completion of BTech and engineering or B, BTech or B, definitely you are going to have fruitful choices with respect to your future options. Okay. This is all about our video. If you really like our content, please share at least to 10 people or at least to 3 or 4 groups, those are looking for this information. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this information and watching this video. I am going to meet in the next video. Until then, bye. Take care.